typical day look like and what did a typical week look like? So for example, when you say you logged on in the morning, what time was that at? Um, I prefer to be in a routine. I'm not a huge morning person, but I believe we'd aim to be on at around nine anyways, just so you can have the rest of your evening. It's the summer. It's nice out. You want to have plans. There's no point in sort of delaying the morning. So we came on, I think at nine. Um, let's say if there was a case that day, um, we would write case in the morning, maybe take a break, um, swap cases, mark for, I think, double, uh, I can't even remember, however long you are to mark a case, and then take it on to our own debrief for double the time. That's sort of when you review your technical, and then that was sort of like a typical day. And then sometimes you'd end early, sometimes it would go a little longer. Um, so what was the aim, like, to kind of log off? What would be, like, if you were, like, earlier than that time would have been early or later than that time would have been late? I would say around 4.30 was probably the normal. Early, sometimes it could be like 3.45, 3. That was a great, that was yeah. awesome. You know, you did what you you had. There's no point in sort of staying on and, and burning out. Um, late would honestly be any time after five. And we tried, me and my friends were really good. Um, even if we wanted to, and we, if we felt the need and we were on a roll and, and we weren't pushing ourselves, we were sort of diving into the material, feeling good. Sure. Go on like a few extra minutes, but no, no yeah. pushing after 5. PM. Yeah. No pushing. No, like, I just need to get this in. Cause yeah. at that point you're not necessarily thinking clearly. You're like, I need to get it in. And it's like, yeah. if I just put this aside and show up tomorrow, it's like 10 minutes. But if exactly. I try to push through this, it's an hour. Exactly. So that's good to, to recognize it. Um, and what do, would you have like an hour break for lunch? Like what did your breaks look like? I think we had an hour break for lunch. Um, try and throw in, as I said, it's, it's flexible. You're the one making yeah. the, the study schedule. I would say probably um, it would be go case, maybe break, yeah. mark, lunch, and then debrief all afternoon maybe. And then throw yeah. in like a coffee break in there or something. Yeah. And when you're debriefing, it's like, okay, how did I do? How could I get to the next level? So the mental kind of um, energy is definitely more writing the case. And then, yeah. because you're just like plowing through, it's time constrained. You're trying to get um, it all in. Yeah. <laughs> and then you kind of take a break and you're like, hey, then you mark and that's like detailed. And you're kind of like, okay, how did this do? Maybe you're asking some questions. Like, what is this right? Maybe you're flipping through some documents. And then when you're debriefing, you're really trying to say, okay, I was at an RC or I was at an NC. How do I get to the next level? How do I get to that RC from an NC? How do I get to a C from an RC? And so like small incremental improvements. You're, you said, going back to your technical. So at the same time, like, okay, how did I, what did I need a little bit more? Was it my technical that was lacking? Right. Was it my time management? And so the afternoons, while it might sound like a long time, you know, one to four, one to like 4.30 or one to right. three, it's actually probably goes by relatively quickly. 100% social and it's applied. Yes. And you're the one putting in the effort. You know that you, you're on this journey, you want to pass the CFE. So that is where you do the most learning. So I found that sort of, it was no problem to put in that effort because a self-motivating person knows you want to get to the next level. How can I do that? How can I make sure that I learn the most that I can uh, today after writing this case that I can do even better tomorrow or just keep learning and keep yeah. leveling up. So I think being in the program in general, having that sort of um, self-motivating factor, you'll find the effort just comes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. And that it's just yeah. like that little bit more, a little bit more like yeah. day by day, self-motivating push. And then um, were you studying like this kind of nine to four thirty ish? Was it um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or what did it look like? You need to take days off. They, um, whether you're sort of doing your own studying or if you're in a program through work, or whatever, you need to take days off. Weekends off are a must. Um, I think one time we had a Saturday because they sort of did a mock um, CFE. We might have done a case Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but then we got the Sunday, Monday. Like you always yeah. need consecutive days off to um, break and rest. And even after my 5 p.m. Um, cutoff times the great thing with school and sort of studying and whatever um unlike work you can you can close it close the book leave it and return later rather than sort of thinking about what do I need to do these emails yeah. whatever do not think about it past um 5 p.m or the weekends or whatever it may be take your time off to live your life outside of um work and or sorry not work um, it studying. feels yeah, like work. Yeah. Cause you treat it like a job. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. You do treat it like a job. So 
taking time for yourself to um, sort of give you motivating things to look forward to, resting time, whatever it may be, you really need that extra time to push you through the long days and um, yeah, mental exhaustion. <laughs> so what did you do? And yes, I'm going to, I set up controls for myself. So, cause I knew that I would want to talk accounting outside of accounting, not like want to, but just feel like I had to. Right. So the controls that I set up is I would either go play poker. I would go um, uh, to hot yoga. I would go, um, you know, scheduled drinks or, you know, coffees with non-accounting friends yeah. because nobody at yoga poker or my non-accounting friends wanted to hear about accounting. So like, even if I tried, it, it would be a no-go. What about right. you? Um, I went to a lot of spin classes. It's helpful that it's in the summer because there are so many more activities that you can do and take advantage of. Um, a lot of time outside. Yeah. Drinks as well. Um, when I did see my accounting girlfriends, we just, it was an unspoken rule. There's no point in talking about this. We're stressed. Why would we like, so we just, it wasn't a topic of conversation um luckily but I'm trying to think what else I did I spent another chunk of the summer out in Calgary um as you can tell I, uh, I'm out there quite a bit but um well, it's yeah, my was, hometown so yeah. I'm like I'm like yeah of course like Calgary Stampede, Canmore, yeah. and just 17th Avenue, 4th Street exactly. yeah there's yeah. lots of lots of fun things to do there. Um, but yeah, those were, I think I did a lot of paint by numbers. That's sort of my pandemic mm. activity that I like to go to, um, reading okay. some Netflix. Yeah. No, it's good. I almost, um, had like a list just so that I wouldn't remind I, yourself. again, cause you, it, it's, it's normal. If you care about something we, even though like hopefully through university or hopefully throughout points of it, you're like, okay, more is not more, but yet in your brain of wanting it so bad, you kind of have to set up those, like those little things like, okay, yeah. I already pre-booked spin, can't get out of that. Like gotta go. And then you're not going to be thinking about accounting like exactly. 10 minutes in, <laughs> like you're not exactly. going to be on a tempo track being like, oh. <laughs> how did my kids go today? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Fabulous.